What is going on traders? Welcome back to The Traveling Trader. Tesla reported earnings last week and absolutely crushed it. And I made a video titled, what was it titled actually? Probably something hyperbolic, but it was titled, Tesla stock will soar on earnings beat how to profit massively five ways. Well, as I said, Tesla reported insane earnings, but the stock price hasn't soared yet. Of course, you can guess some of the types of comments that I received. Why David Blaine doing stock tips? Huh, nobody ever told me I look like David Blaine. That's actually first. Tesla ended the day at 1513. You must feel dumb as you look. <laughs> All joking aside, most of the comments were good, but I was asked to provide an update to the video, and so here we are. Did I sell all of my Tesla stock? No, hell no. Like I said in my last video, my cost basis for Tesla this time around was $450. I'm up like 240, 250%. Why the hell would I sell Tesla stock? Plus, I went through a plethora of different trading strategies. Would you say I have a plethora of piñatas? A what? A plethora. Oh, yes. <laughs> you have a plethora. Jefe, what is a plethora? And the one that I criticized the most was the first one, which was buying Tesla stock before earnings. Let's take a look at the video. One. So like I said, the first and most simple strategy is to just buy it. Now, because you're buying at the high, you should expect that you could lose out in the short term, right? So Tesla could actually take a dive to at least the 21 EMA, which is at around currently at around 1350. That's why buying the dip or buying the crash is so important because it avoids you having to make decisions like this where you're buying at the high. As Warren Buffett says, I'm more comfortable when stocks are going down, not when they're going up. You essentially want to fade the market. So as I said there, you essentially want to fade the market and buying at the high is always a 50-50 proposition. As I said in the video, Tesla could come down down to the 21 EMA and guess what it fell to the 21 EMA a level that it is currently bouncing off of so yes while you could have bought Tesla at 1500 before earnings it is definitely not the most optimal time to buy also when I said that Tesla will soar on an earnings beat I don't mean in a day or two if you expect to buy a hot stock right before earnings and turn into a millionaire overnight that's just not how the stock market works or else everybody would be rich like Biff from back to the future as a matter of fact if Tesla reported a fourth quarter of positive earnings which it did it can't get added to the S&P right away. It won't be until at least the end of the year. And everything I talked about before, whether it's battery day or a potential stock split, that stuff won't happen until the end of the year at least. And if we take a look at previous earnings, you'll see that major rallies happen weeks after the earnings event. Once in a blue moon, you could get a little pop the day of or the day after earnings but the real rallies happen weeks after and it takes a long gradual time frame for it to occur. As I said before, buying at 1500 is really a FOMO move. If you waited all the way until 1500 to buy Tesla, then you just have to recognize sometimes that you missed the boat. I have no problem with somebody dollar cost averaging at the high, but buying at the high and expecting you to experience the same type of returns as somebody who bought at 200 or 300 or 400 is just unrealistic. Sometimes you are better off acknowledging that you missed the boat and either move on to the next stock or as I said in the video, wait for a major retracement to one of the major moving averages like the 21 EMA or the 50 MA or the 100 MA and buy there. Now, I went over a couple of other strategies in the last video, so let's take a look at them and see how they're performing. All right, guys, so one of the option strategies that I talked about in the last video with regards to Tesla was selling an iron condor on Tesla. Now, selling an iron condor just involves selling a call spread and a put spread. It's a neutral strategy. The trade looks like this, where you want Tesla to stay between your range. In my case, the range is between 1300 and and 1900 i'm up almost 90 percent of this trade will likely close it out tomorrow it expires friday but just to give you a sense for how much you can make on 10 contracts if you open the trade when i did the video you'd be up fourteen thousand eight hundred and thirty five dollars right now and like i said that's the beauty of trading options because you can architect an option strategy that is literally uh neutral in terms of the direction the the direction you're not biased you don't you're not really banking on Tesla mooning immediately and you're not banking on it crashing and you can create a pretty wide range, especially when implied volatility is high, like during earnings week and you could sell that volatility. You could sell iron condor and take advantage of that volatility. 
And like I said, on 10 contracts, that would net you $14,835 as of today. If you did one contract, it would obviously be $1,483.50. Another trade where we took advantage of implied volatility. This one I sent out in the trade alerts. And by the way, sign up if you want access to the trade alerts where I send out all of my options, stocks, and crypto trades. But the 1295, 12, 1285 put spread on Tesla expiring on friday on 10 contracts you would be up 525 dollars right now all tesla has to do is expire above 1295 so not exactly a neutral strategy but one that is likely out of the money meaning tesla it's very unlikely for tesla to expire this friday below 1295. now my outlook on tesla hasn't changed right level five autonomy robo taxi potentially a million mile battery potentially addition to the S&P 500, potentially a stock split. We might be getting redesigns of some of the major models later this year. So I'm still ultra bullish on Tesla. And in terms of what you should do, how you should trade Tesla stock right now, nothing's really changed. Buy the dips at the major retracements and or learn how to trade options. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you get anything out of this video. If you have a question or comment, leave it down below actually let me know in the comment section down below let me know if you're still in your tesla position and what your cost basis was if you want to learn how to do technical analysis and or trade options i do one-on-ones every month i only take a handful of people sign up link is in the description sign up on august 1st because spots go really fast subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell stay safe out there traders peace